Welcome Aquarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's see what's coming up for the energy of the full moon. Okay. All right. So we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Okay. And then we have uh, people are re recognizing and seeing the truth of this Queen of Cups, whoever this person is. Then we have the energy of uh, the tower in reverse um, that is coming up beside the queen of cups so some sort of a situation i see hardship is going to be over for a lot of you aquarians then we see the energy of the seven of wands you aquarian need to stand your ground against this person i see that you aquarians are not seeing what is happening in the third week of all right, so let's uh, shift these. Um, and this is why I say to a lot of people, I got to uh, place the cards first before I start with a reading. All right, in the last and fourth week, we have the Six of Wands in reverse. So there is no win for this Queen of Cups. And they're recognizing that a whole lot of money, you are blinded to recognize that a whole lot of money um, supposed to come to some of you so there we have it ladies and gentlemen um, the energy and this energy what is happening and transpiring um, with the energies of this full moon remember that the energies of the full moon it's all about uh, seeing the truth recognizing things are coming out things are happening so the first week is about the queen of cups whether this queen of cups is and whatever is transpiring People are now recognizing who this person is and what this person have done. Okay, so some of you, this could be your wife, your mom, whoever this person is. A lot of you are going to be recognizing who this person is. Then we have the tower moment in the second week and whatever that was blocking a lot of you Aquarians. You're going to be resolving this situation. So that is um, very, very good. Okay. And that is really positive. Um, and then we have the energy of the seven of wands. You need to stand your ground um, in the third week because there is something that you guys are not seeing clearly. So you got to be aware and stand your grounds. Okay. So let's see what you're coming in. In this full moon, your burdens is going to be over. A lot of you had some sort of a burden, some situation dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. They're now recognizing and seeing the truth about this person and what this person have done. So your burdens is going to be over. So whoever that was dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion um, person, a woman, you they are going to be now recognizing who is this person, what has happened, and what has transpired. You're leaving this full moon. Um being you need to take some rest in this full moon because uh, the energy of the four of swords is here and you really need to take some rest and some of you could be waiting to hear from uh someone about money okay however that is uh, coming up and transpiring some of you could have been waiting to hear about money that was supposed to come to you so you have to be aware of that okay so we begin the period with our burdens are down um, whatever the problem is the issue is whatever that was plain i see you need to take some rest from the situation and really focus on yourself all right let's see in the first week in the first week we see a pisces cancer scorpion person wants to reunite with some of you who is this pisces cancer scorpion person because whoever this person is, they want to reunite with you. Or you could be wanting to reunite with this person. So um, some sort of information is definitely um, going to be coming out. And a lot of you are going to be recognizing who this person is and what this person have um, done or what this person wants from you. All right. In the second week, we have the tower with the... A five of pentacles and there was some sort of an issue with a relationship or with your children but it's coming up as a um there was some sort of an issue in relationship 
um, we can um, see that there, so there was some sort of a block between you and someone. Uh, it is going to be resolved and it is going to be over. So that is good. In the third week, I see no good news for a woman and her child. Whatever that was happening and transpiring. I see um, it is as if Leo wanted some sort of a new start or that sort of a thing. It's not going to be happening because they recognize uh, who this Leo woman is. Uh, and uh, a lot of you are now seeing the truth about a Leo woman and what has happened and what has transpired. So we recognize that whoever this Leo woman is and whatever new start that this Leo woman wanted, it's not going to be happening because they're now recognizing um, that there, there was um, information and data that this Leo woman and her child have um, is not totally correct, okay? So a lot of you are dealing with a Leo woman and whoever this Leo woman is and her, and her child or she pretends to have a child or whatever is transpiring. They're going to be recognizing um, um, what is transpiring. A lot of you Aquarians are going to be recognizing that some sort of a data and information about this Leo woman is not correct. So then we look at the last week. I see a lot of you Aquarians is going to be successfully overcoming some sort of a situation. Um, um, and news is going to be coming in about a whole lot of money. And this is going to be good. That whole lot of money is going to be coming back to you. And that is going to be good, especially um, for some of you, not for all of you, depends on if you're a sun or a moon sign person. Um, but I see success is going to be coming in. A lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming a Leo. Um, whoever this Leo woman is, who could have tried to create a, um, some sort of an imbalanced situation where people were really find, trying to find out who this person is and what was happening and transpiring. And I see um, truths is going to be coming out about who exactly um, this person is. So that is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous, okay? Um, that is going to be so wonderful because people are now going to be recognizing who this person is and that the information and data that this person have doesn't coincide with this person, okay? All right, so Aquarians, you are the first one, so let me just... Um, fix um, these things so that people um, can recognize. So the burden is uh, now over, okay? The burden uh, is now over. You're coming into a period, a timeline where the burdens are now over, okay? A lot of you were dealing with a whole lot of burdens. I was carrying a whole lot of burdens because of a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person. Whoever this person is, I created a whole lot of burdens for you. And uh, some sort of a resolution is going to be coming out as to what has been going on and the transition um, that was happening. Wow. So it is um, a situation where some of you might have wanted to reconnect uh, um, with a lover, okay, maybe this woman was your partner, a lover, for some of you, and you wanted to reconnect with this person, um, some of you, um, this could be a child that some of you wanted to reconnect, and I see it is going to be happening, I see a whole lot of successful moment, a whole lot of you, um, as you reach to the fourth week, so remember the full moon is on the 26th of April, so you count the week of the 26th and you count till May. This is going to be like ending at the next full moon. So you have to look and see when the month of May begin, which is going to be beginning in this week. Okay, this is the week that month of May um, is going to be beginning. And then you work with this energy with the through first three weeks of the month of May, okay? It's very important that you understand um, how these readings are and how the cycle of the readings is. So Universal Angels and Guides, let's uh, um, go in. It's going to be a very good full moon for you Aquarians, okay? It is a pink full moon um, that is coming up on the 26th of April. And it's, it's looking very good for you guys. 
let's look at the sun sign people these are the people that was born 6 a.m to 6 p.m 6 a.m to 6 p.m all right so the burden is over yes um the seven of ones this is good um what is happening and transpiring is that a lot of you stood your ground against uh, something it could be your wife it could be your mother but you stood your grounds and try to protect either a family member that could be your mother or your wife or your grandmother um and uh, whatever the burdens that was created between you and this person um i see some sort of a reunion is going to be coming up and you stand your ground and remove the blockage that was created around this person whoever um that came in and was creating some sort of a problems and blockage you stood your ground and this is going to be good then in the first week we are looking you're going to be victoriously successful overcoming a cancer whatever this cancer is and whatever is transpiring I see victory and success over a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. They're now recognizing what has happened and what has transpired. I see a lot of you could be receiving some sort of a good news about a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, or good news from this Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Some sort of a reunion could be coming in between you and this person. So whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, this person is going to be um, sending you or giving you some sort of a good news, okay? Or was this someone who was affecting your life and you stood your ground in order to release yourself of the burdens and show up or what was happening, what was transpiring? And there we see um, that you are going to be reunited um, with this person or um, some sort of a good news is going to be coming in about this person. Now, however it is, um, your message for you sun sign people is to stand your grounds. Okay, stand your grounds to whatever is happening. Stand your grounds and show up what was happening and transpiring. Stand your grounds and make sure that people recognize who you are. A corporation institution is now recognizing and seeing the truth. Okay, so um, some of you could be dealing with your boss. There was some sort of a problems at the workplace. Or you could be dealing with people in authority and now they're recognizing and seeing the truth and understanding um, what was happening and transpiring. So in the second week, it's going to be good for you, Sunshine people. Um, in the second week, I see... Either your bosses or people in authority, if you were having some sort of an issue, they're going to be helping you guys out and your family members because they're now recognizing that there was some sort of a block that was created and they're going to be releasing this block and also helping you. So at the workplace, some of you, your boss supervisor could be picking up for you and is going to be helping you because your boss and supervisor recognize that you know, you are a good person. You're coming from a good place. Um, you know, you are doing your work. You're focusing and you're leaving, um, your footprint on a very, very positive note. And I see that, um, people in authority is going to be helping you. And this is always coming up as boss or a father figure or that sort of a thing. They're going to be ending some sort of a blockage or ending, um, a situation where some of you were not getting the promotion and was not getting um the um the attention that you should have had and they're going to be recognizing this and it's going to be alleviate whatever that was block blocking you in uh, in order for you to move forward and be successful so i see people in authority is going to be recognizing um, Jesus, it could be a boss supervisor recognizing, oh my God, this person is the one that has been doing very good work and we were not even aware, you know, good that uh, this situation comes up so that we can see this. So a lot of you, um, I see that, uh, you know, you're going to be getting help, uh, a push up the ladder because people are going to be recognizing uh, um, that you're coming from a good place and you're also um, giving out and, and alleviating and showing up and trying to help um, in a very good way. And your work is very good. And I see um, positive, positive energy is going to be coming in. So that is good. Then when we look, I see 
the seven of wands and you guys have twice the energy of seven and that means you are on the right part whatever you're doing whatever that is happening to you you're definitely on the right part because when we have the energy of the seven of wands is that when you look at the beginning you're standing your grounds to whatever that was happening and transpiring and showing up for yourself and because of this you're going to be reunited with um someone um that you could have lost or some sort of a problem that someone was creating. And as we see here, we have the energy of uh, um, the page. Some sort of a news is going to be um, coming in where um, some of you could be saying to um, a Leo woman, you know, you need to pay this person. So if some of you were having some sort of an issue and problems with a Leo woman, um, was this your ex, whoever this Leo woman is, was this someone who had a business or someone who um, had took advantage of you and your financial situation, um, the message is going to be coming, in, some sort of a message is going to be going to this Leo woman and saying, hey, you need to return and repay all the money that you took from Aquarians because um, it is not your money. So, you know, it is a situation where, a lot of you, it could be a sister, a mother, or an ex-wife, or um, an ex-child's, um, your child mother, that have created a whole lot of problem. And uh, um, whoever this person is, I see that this person is going to be getting um, some sort of a bill that they need to repay you Aquarians for what they have done, okay? And it is a woman and her child. And whoever this woman and her child is, is coming up as a Leo woman. And this Leo woman have to pay back a whole lot of money because they're going to be recognizing what this Leo woman have done to a lot of you, okay? So maybe if it's someone who had borrowed some money, maybe if it's someone who had... um. Uh, use a child in order to get money out of you and that sort of a thing and you could have taken this woman to court or you could have really stand your ground against this woman and I see um that this lady whether this lady is uh, um because um what you're recognizing is that you don't have to pay this lady this lady needs to pay you back uh, like a lot of money that this lady had took on the false pretend so there we see it uh, then we see transition a transition is coming up and the end is coming in and a positive um, uh, ending is coming in for a lot of you that was dealing with some sort of an issue um, where it has to do with some sort of a news um, where someone was creating um, problems for you. This is so beautiful because what is transpiring is that this is going to come to an end and a transition is going to be here and it's definitely going to be coming to an end because people are now recognizing what was happening. So when you look at this for you guys, you sun sign people, we see your burdens is going to be over because you stand your ground in order to reconnect with someone. And I see some sort of a good news um, is going to be coming in. But this uh, good news is over a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion who could have created some sort of a problem or issue or was in some sort of a problem. And I see good news from authority figure is coming up because they're going to be ending um, some sort of uh, blockages that was placed so that some of you could not move, move forward. And these authority figure, some sort of a money that should have been paid out, they're going to be saying, no, this person, um, whoever had took the money from you, and it is coming up as a Leo woman and her child, or a Leo woman could have pretend um, and, and got some money on the false pretend for a child that has something to do with you, Aquarian, or you, Aquarian, could be investigating a situation and recognize uh, that whoever this Leo woman is could have taken money on the false pretend for a child and uh, pretend to be someone else. And it's as if you guys in, uh, that is, uh, in authority is investigating it and is going to be sending back, uh, um, that this Leo woman repay what they have took because this Leo woman pretend to be someone else that was pretended to be and taking money from a, for a child from a government institute or organization or so and they're going to be making this woman pay back so transition is going to be coming up 
and this transition and for some of you it doesn't have to be a leo woman some of you it is but some of you it is uh, um a woman um who had a child and could have uh, um used the child in order to get a whole lot of money and they're going to be recognizing it some of you who had problems uh, um, to pay some sort of a huge bill or something like that. It's as if some sort of information comes out and they're going to be recognizing that the bill is not for you, but the bill is for someone else and they're going to be um, changing that. So, so if you notice, the energy of uh, the emperor is going to be coming in and ending a situation where some of you Aquarians don't have to pay a bill because they recognize some sort of a situation where some of you are a bill is going to be, they're going to be sending like a, um, a credit note because they recognize um, the bill is not yours, it's for someone else. And they're going to be seeing this and it's going to be sending the bill to that person. Okay, because it's as if that person and their child had used your name or information in order to acquire some sort of a services and they're going to be recognizing that and cancel out a bill because they recognize that the bill, the invoice is not yours. Okay, some of you uh, ladies, you could be receiving some sort of a message. Um, some of you ladies with kids could have been waiting for some sort of a message um about money for your kids some sort of a child support but it's not going to be coming in in this full moon you have to wait till the next full moon a transition is definitely going to be coming out and this transition is going to be helping some of you to become very successful because this transition is going to be creating positive alignment of energy that is going to be clearing up some sort of a situation that was happening all right, so we're moving on to the moon sign, people. And this is our people who were born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And we see that you guys that was born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., you need to rest, okay? Whenever the full moon, sometimes you're sleepless or... But this full moon, a lot of you Aquarians are going to be resting, okay? Most of you, especially the people who were born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And I see some sort of a celebration is going to be coming in. Yes. So now you can have inner peace, okay? Whatever that was happening and transpiring, inner peace is going to be coming in because it's as if a corporation institution had no recognized, um, uh, that some money was taken or money was stolen from you and they're now going to be recognizing uh, who took this money and recognizing the, the, the fraud and the play that was created. So um, rest assured, if some of you had some sort of a legal issue, I see you're going to be successful over this legal issue and a lot of money is going to be um, paid out to you because they now recognize a corporation institution now recognize the play um, that was going on and this corporation institution have information now and data and you're going to be very very successful because a whole lot of money is going to be coming back to you moon sign people in the first week so it is the week of the 26th of april that a corporation institution finally finally recognized uh, what was happening and what was transpiring and I see, um, the, you know, a group of people in a corporation institution have data and information now, and you're going to be successfully overcoming some sort of an unconditional play that was transpiring. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. So this is looking as if it's a situation where some of you, your business, whatever that was transpiring, if you have, a, if you're self-employed, you're a freelancer, or you work at a company and this company, you sue this company for something that they have done. And, you know, it was a dragged out, laying out um, legal issue that was transpiring. They are now going to be recognizing um, what was happening and transpiring. So um, here we see the energy of um, this legal issue is finally over a lot of you are going to be having rest and inner peace, okay? And um, this situation is that some of you is as if someone tried to steal a lot of money from you and they recognize what this person was trying to do. 
and by them recognizing this bank financial institution have recognized what this person tried to do and what they did was to um, get data and information to recognize that the money um, is for you guys and I see a very successful moment because it's as if uh, someone was trying to steal some money and they held on on this person and recognized uh, that is not the person um, whoever this person is, is not the person that is supposed to get this money. And now they have data and information to recognize that someone was stealing from your business, your project, and they're going to be returning all the money to you. Wow. All right. The five of, um, the five of ones comes up in the second week and the second week for you moon sign people, especially ladies with kids, you were not seeing a situation clearly. Ladies with kids, you were not seeing a situation clearly. And there was a whole lot of conflicts over your kid with your kid. A whole lot of conflicts. You were blindfolded. The eight of swords were um, information and data you were not aware. And now I see that in the second week, you're going to be standing your ground and asking to show up data and information in order to resolve some sort of a situation. And I see there was a whole lot of conflicts um, around your kid, a whole lot of conflicts around your kid, a whole lot of uh, conflicts, especially you, you ladies with children or uh, you could be a teacher or a social worker. And you were not seeing what was transpiring. And in the second week, you're going to be standing your ground and ending this conflict. So you're going to be removing the blockages so you can see clearly what is uh, happening to a kid or what is happening in, to your kid. Okay. It is a situation where the mother and the child, um, there was uh, some sort of a situation where they were blinded to something and there was a whole lot of chaos. Uh, um, around this and people are now recognizing what was happening and transpiring. Then we see the energy of, uh, um, there is uh, some sort of a secrecy. Okay. In the third week, as we look at the third week, if you're in a relationship with a Taurus, the Taurus had a lot of secrecy. Okay. Whoever the Taurus is, they held a lot of secrecy and it is going to be coming out. Some of you, if you are in a relationship or, um, with someone new, they have a lot of secrets that you are not aware of. And it's as if this information is going to be coming out. Okay. And a lot of you are going to be finding yourself being very happy that whatever the, the information is that they were keeping is now out. Um, because it's as if you were in the dark and, um, you were not aware of, uh, this lover or this new love or whoever this person is, you were not aware of who this person is and what this person was going on with. And this person have a whole lot of secrets and these secrets is going to be coming out in the third week. So be aware of this and be on top of your game because in the third week, if you have a relationship, if you have a child, uh, if you have some sort of a, you have a secret lover. OK, um, so in the third week, a lot of you are going to be ha recognizing that you have a secret admirer. That is the energy of a secret admirer who really do believe in you and really wants to help you to resolve some sort of a situation. And this could be a secret admirer in a huge corporation that is helping a lot of you. It could be at the workplace where a manager, um, a supervisor, some head of uh, um, they recognize uh, um, that you're very good and they have become your secret admirer without you knowing and you're going to be receiving a lot of help. OK, let's look at the fourth and last week, the fourth and last week. I see collaboration and this is good. Um, so the fourth and last week, um, we see some sort of a reunion is going to be coming in. And this is uh, this is very good because um um, a lot of people are going to want to, to collaborate with a whole lot of you. So let's say that you are looking for business associates, business partners, that sort of a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just going to be coming in because people are going to be now recognizing. Um, I see a whole lot of people are going to be coming towards you people. Some of you, um, like, um, people that you have not heard from in a long time. It's just going to be, um, re um, returning in your life. And this is going to be good. 
Um, at the workplace, I see a whole lot of positive collaboration. People are working together in team and is supporting a lot of you. Um, if you have your home, you're self-employed, that sort of a thing. I see family members working also together. I see that people are going to be coming together and is going to be helping a lot of you moon sign people and especially if you're doing anything with groups of people because um you aquarian are in the 11th house and the 11th house has to do with group of people okay it has to do with um collaboration and working with group of people and i see that this um full moon is going to be bringing that out for a lot of you moon sign people so this is a really wonderful thing a lot of you are going to be recollaborating some of you a whole company could be calling you back um to work for them okay or a international company or a company that some of you were working for could ask you if you could come back and work for them and this is going to be good so we see a whole lot of network and a whole lot of people are going to be collaborating family members collaborating together I see that you're ending this full moon on a very, very positive note. So use the energy. So moon sign people expect money to return to your business or some sort of a, if you decide to start a, um, a self-employed and start a little project for yourself, it is going to be a success. People who have lost money with their business, their people now find out who was stealing from your business. The money is going to be returned. A lot of you mothers are going to be standing your ground because something, um, there was a whole lot of chaos with, um, your kids or chaos between you and your parents. You're going to stand your ground and resolve it. New love. A lot of you have new, an, an admirer and this admirer is in an eye place, eye powered person who um, is your admirer and they're going to be helping you out and I see a lot of help and collaboration is going to be coming in I do love you guys please show your love by like shares and thumbs up I do appreciate you Aquari Aquarians um, you guys have been winning 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 I'm going to do a giveaway for um, the highest winning um people in the weeks but it is just that i've been going through some sort of a health issue that i need to have on the control before i can really go back full time um in this and i want to say to a lot of you i do love you i do appreciate your help and support please remember to thumbs up likes and share and i am going to be saying namaste until next time